Hi everybody and welcome to uh, this section of the Edith Trifold. This is actually my section one and I'm going to make section three in exactly the same way. I didn't video this. Uh, I didn't realise anybody would actually want to follow along to be honest. Um, but because I'm going to make uh, section three the same, once I've made it then you can make your section one from the uh, you know the instructions so this is the section one it's held together with a ribbon and that comes out of there and then we've got this uh, flap here with two tags in acetate um, a little bookmark on the back of there uh, this is a full side pocket down here with a big journaling card in which is gorgeous I love that journaling card um, but I'm not actually going to decorate it today on this video. Go on, in you go. That's it. I'm just going to show you the skeleton of it and then we'll come back another time and we'll decorate it. Then this flips over like that. And this is a big um, pocket actually that's a frame. This is the journaling card inside, or the tag, should I say. Look at it, it's gorgeous. And then when you remove that, you've got the moor hen behind. And I love the moor, moor hen. He's much overlooked, this little fellow. Really is. And this, of course, got blue tits on. So come on. It's just perfect. And that slides down into there. Uh, then this, which is actually a double pocket. Um, this is wallpaper border, actually. Uh, and that's uh, yellow ticking from my porch prints. And I think that's what it's called. I think it's called yellow and green ticking. And these are tags that you, I think you've watched me make these, most of them at any rate. And they slide into the big pocket at the back. And then we've got this postcard of thistles. It's gorgeous. Uh, and it goes into the front along with this little tag here. Right, so that's that. So this then flips over like that. And here we've got another big pocket. And this is a page, I believe, from the German edition of Edith. And actually it's smaller than the editions, uh, the regular editions that I have here. You can see it's very different, really. Uh, and it, I've stuck that on there as a pocket and I've put some uh, labels well, I stamped, made my own labels and from stamps from the field notes, cut them out, took them in under there and then made a big tag to go into here. Like that. It's just a collage with a sticker. It's very nice. But I do notice that this corner is a little bit not stuck down. So let's stick that down now while I see it. Ooh, look at that. That's not good. Come on, glue. <laughs> Come on, glue. Let's stick the pin in. I haven't used this today, so I'm guessing that's its problem. They get very hurt if you don't use them regularly. And because I've been doing the uh, Timmy Fabric book, I haven't actually been using this uh, it's glue too much. That's it. There we go. So I'll pop that onto there. Just press it down with my towel just in case it seeps out because I put quite a bit in there. There we are. That's the end of that problem, hopefully. Right. And here we have a page that's uh, got these two flips on it. They flip up and they flip down. I've got this rather gorgeous journaling card here. It's beautiful. Oh, I've got two by the looks of it. Oh, look at those, aren't they so lovely? Uh, and the picture, the January picture from Edith of the blue tits. Beautiful. So they go in there, they flip down, and then they're just held together with this piece of green and white twine. Uh, right, this then flips out this way and I've got this angled pocket here with two um, tags in. I do love this tag. I really love it. It's got blue tits on so why wouldn't I? 
Uh, and then we have this in here, which is an additional flip and it's an envelope. And then this page, which has got two angled pockets on it, these bunny rabbits in winter. Oh, that's nice as well. <laughs> uh, and it's the tags just go in like so. Playing cards, little tags and a little baby tag in there. Um, and then on the back of that, yeah, we've seen that, haven't we? We've been there. So we've done everything, I think. So that folds over to there and then folds over again. So this is the front and this is the back. So let's see if we can do that. That would be clever, wouldn't it? So I've taken two pieces of uh, A3 card and I've made them nine inches tall. That's the height pretty much of the Edith book. So it's the whole page and they are still the length of A3. And what I need to do now is do a bit of scoring. Right, so let's just see where I scored it. That's catkin falling into something. Um, that looks like six and five eighths. It's a weird measurement, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is though, six and five eighths. So let's score that at six and five eighths. Just one piece at a time. So I'm going to score this. Make sure it's square. Six, that's six and a half. So the next one is five eighths. So score that. And let's see where the next score line is. It's here. So what does that measure? That measures. six and three quarters I would say let's do that six and three quarters although hang on that's not the same mm -mm -mm -mm. can't remember how I did this uh, let's measure that one I think that's the one that I need to be measuring I'll show you in a minute that's six and three quarters definitely anyway so so we're all right so let's measure that at six and three quarters so I'm just going to fold this over and you fold always towards the ridge. So let's fold that over and then I need six and three quarters. So I'll get that right into the corner again and six and three quarters. Woo! <gasps> Went round my thumb there. <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. So there we are. That's that. Right. So that's that piece. Um, score away from the line you've just made so let's just before we move on let's just make sure that all these um, creases are square even if we have to turn them over I want them to be square at this point um, I had a tidy up yesterday so I have no idea where anything is really <laughs> so the bone folder oh, here it is Excellent. Right, so I'm just going to crease those um, scored lines in, burnish them down. And this one, I want to just make sure it's square. Because sometimes, um, sometimes they aren't. Like this one's just slightly, slightly, slightly off. Right, that's great. So that's that. So what I've now got then is this piece this piece and this piece okay this bit on on the end is the same as that more or less um so that's going to be the flap with the acetate tags in now the next piece i need to make is this piece so i'm going to make that out of there as well and i need it to measure um six and three quarters slightly less actually and this one is six and five eight so they're all five eight three quarters ish 
I think. So let's pop that away. Let's get the scoreboard out again. I'm going to make these six and five eighths just so they all fold inside each other. Six and five eighths. Let's just fold that over. Pop that in back in the corner. And six and five eighths again. Oops. That's a bit on the wonk. Let's fold it back this way then and get that right in the corner. And then score it six and five eighths. Like that. And I think I'm right in saying this piece here is waste, but let's just check that before we go cutting <laughs> anything off, before we go being too radical. Okay, so that's that bit there. Oh yeah, didn't it? I need a flap to attach it, so let's and yeah okay so this is we know what that is this piece goes here like that folds over and we need to make a flap here out of this to attach it to the rest of the things so we have ostensibly just folded everything creased everything the same got two pieces that are pretty much similar so I need to chop this off, which I don't think that fits in there, does it? Nope. I'll chop it off with scissors because it, it's, it will never be seen again. So I trust myself with some scissors. So I'm making half an inch or maybe slightly over half an inch there. And this is going to be the flap that tucks under. So I'm just going to mitre these corners just a little bit just so they're not noticeable that's all okay so I'll keep that because you never know you never know what you might need I'm trying to be tidy today because as I say I had a massive tidy up yesterday <laughs> right so let's have a look let's just bring this down a little bit so we've got the single end there hey cooking hmm and we've got this is this bit here so we need that to attach to there to that bit there and then that folds over like that like that yes and then that all folds over onto there and this is the bit with the flip and it's still not straight we'll deal with that when we come to that so yeah that's fine so what we've got is our first piece of card that scored there and scored there. And then the next piece of card scored in the same sort of places, but with that extra cut off. And we've got an envelope to place somewhere, but it goes there. So I think we can safely say we can glue this down. So I need to glue this to here. Before I do that, I'm gonna ink round everything um, I'll just pause you for a second while I find my ink. Right, I found my ink. I'm pretty sure it was forest moss that I was using. This is the problem when a, a, a project becomes disjointed and you do other things in between. You forget. You forget these things. But let's just ink around the whole shebang. And then we can't go wrong. So I'll just carry on doing this. And when you see me again, it will all be inked. Right, so I've inked around all of those and I think I've gathered together everything else that I need. Time will tell as we go along if that's the case or not. So this is the sort of base, if you like. This is the bit that's going to fold over to form the, the front. And this piece here that we chopped the 
flap off goes there goes on this one here so let's stick that on so we know that we're doing something right <laughs> we're making our page this glue still isn't very happy with life but might get the idea in a minute and we can stick this on now because we're going to put uh, Edith pages over it so it will never be seen um, in fact I found it quite difficult to work out where it was to be honest so let's just get that exactly where we want it which is here so fold it over line your pages up not quite right into that uh, fold there that's lovely that folds perfectly marvelous right so let's just press that down with a bone folder so it makes good contact there we are right so this piece actually folds that way so there we have it pretty much that's the front page this is the flap that folds like that make sure that's square this is the next page which folds like that and then this is the front bit that has the acetate in so yay we're doing all right doing all right so far so the next bit of construction really is the two flaps that go on here these ones and I made mine well they measure now three and a quarter but I've turned under half an inch so they would have been three and three quarters by four and a quarter and I need two three and three quarters by four and a quarter try and remember three and three quarters by four and three quarters let's pop that to one side um, oh. oh sorry I thought I had some card ah here I go again pause you again right I've got two pieces of card I have no idea what measurements I told you but let me give you the right measurements the right measurements are four and a quarter by three and three quarters four and a quarter by three and three quarters okay I, I think I said it wrong but those are the proper measurements so along the longer edge which is the four and a quarter edge we need to score in half an inch like that and same on this one just checking I've got the right side yeah half an inch so this is the three and three quarter along the top four and a quarter down there and I've scored half an inch excellent so let's just fold those in like that press them down same with the other one and I'm just going to take a little mitre it's the wrong way actually it should go that way um, I'm just gonna you know just take a little bit off the corner as well like I do it just helps to lose it in the in the journal you can't see it sticking out then there we go right I'm so trying to keep tidy okay so where's our skeleton book here it is so it's on it's on this page the page on the left not the flip out bit the single bit on the left um, and these get stuck in the middle 
they get rounded the corners get rounded let's do that then because I've got my fancy new corner rounder and I want the half inch side which is this side here so just round both of the top corners don't round the bottom and that's going to go there same here there we go now then they need to be stuck halfway along here so let's just measure this and where I'm holding it it's six and a half actually so three and a quarter I need a pencil mark and I've put all my pencils away my goodness me come on it's got to be a pencil here somewhere yeah a good pencil excellent so three and a quarter I'm just going to make a mark at three and a quarter and I'm going to make a mark halfway along here which is four and a quarter so that's two and an eighth so I know those two lines have to mark, um, match up and then along here it's the same thing it's six and a half so three and a quarter which is there and then here which is two and an eighth right so let's get these glued into place so come on come on glue play ball please oh yes see we just a bit of sweet talking's worked right so just line our marks up and then we know it's central right on the edge like that that's lovely and then just make sure it's pre pressed down I'll just run my bone folder over there lovely so that's flush with the bottom edge and I can just remove that little pencil line now it's done its job I think I might have to get a proper eraser out for that one and same on the top there we go and I'm just going to turn this around it's just going to make it easier for me to stick it on right so my pencil lines are right on that edge that's not convenient line them up right at the edge like so and press it down get your towel out apply a good bit of pressure there and on here just go over that with my bone folder right so there we are now there's there's more to come with these but that involves the decoration side more than anything so we'll leave that and we'll move on to the flip so that's this bit here and in this bit there's an envelope so I've got my envelope I haven't sealed it up it happens to be white it doesn't really matter we're going to cover it with Edith paper I'm just going to run the ink just around the outside but you won't see it because because it's white I'm going to make sure I cover it right to the edges with Edith so I'm just doing these edges just in case they, they're visible but I'm hoping if I'm accurate enough they won't be there and then let's just open that up and just go down here because this might be seen yeah might actually be seen so I'm just going to make that a little bit broader there that just in case it ends up we can see it and I don't want it to look nasty of course so there we go that's that and this gets stuck uh, into this this fold here and it really doesn't matter if you stick it that way and it flips there or you stick it that way and it flips there it doesn't matter it's the same thing you won't see this at all so let's put some glue on that oh I think I better ink down there I 
is Jeff's cooking my lunch and it's pork chops <laughs> pork chops roast parsnips and swede who delicious swede's one of my favorite veg i love swede there we go so i'm just going to stick this on this way it just seems easier I'm sticking mine right at the bottom, but you don't have to. You could stick it halfway up, which would, might look quite nice, actually. So let's stick that down there. That flips there. Yeah. It might just be encumbering that crease a little bit. Let's just make sure. No, they grow right. That's fine. There we are. Lovely. So that's that flip in. Flip, 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 flip. So next thing to do is that's got pockets on. This has got a big pocket on it, which is more decoration. And so we're down to this part here that's going to be the front. The front of the of this section and that still is not folded quite right it's so tricky once they set off on the wrong thing it's tricky getting them folded that's better that's better that's better that's better right what i'm going to do is cut out two windows and stick some acetate behind them it is it's free it, it's a flip as you can see so I need a piece of book page to stick the acetate on behind and then stick it onto this flap okay so let's select a piece of book page it could, we're moving on through the year so yeah maybe from June onwards something like that um, I think for this one actually I use text um, so let's go to the Edith book and see what text I've got available to me. Well, that's all text. Um, a little bit further through the year. There, that's perfect. That's on the other side of that. Yeah, excuse me. I'm happy to uh, donate that to the cause. Let's just snip these out. I don't know where my little scissors are. Of course I don't. Um, I have to use these ones. I think they might be over by the sewing machine actually. There is another Timmy Fabric book in the offing guys. It's definitely going to happen. I've got all my fabrics gathered together. Right, let's just take these apart. this one wasn't it but actually there's one here that's perfect this one so I'm going to sacrifice this it, it has to be done you have to sacrifice something along the way you really do and although it's totally heartbreaking it's just the way it is so let's just tear that down there Oops. so I've still got that full page and that gorse, which is one of my favourite images, actually. Right, so I need this to measure. It, the height should be right. It's just maybe a smidge that needs to come off the height. Yeah, absolutely half of nothing, to be honest. But let's just do that. There. Uh, so as I say, I mean, it's it's really nothing that's coming off here, but enough to make a difference. So let's just take care. There we are. And then we want it just the right width. Now, I don't really want the 
border on it if I can help it. So let's mark where we want it. There to there. And I don't think that fits on my Timmy trimmer, which is a real shame. So I've got to get the Jolly Green Giant out. So let's let's cut the little one first, which is there. And then we'll cut the other one, which is there. Lovely. And pop this away. And let's see. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's perfect. OK, so now we need to put the windows, cut the windows into here, put the acetate behind. Yes. That's what we need to do. Um, so, oh, it's such a shame, doesn't it? That's so pretty. But never mind, never mind. Um, so, I am going to make the border at the bottom. Let's see what I made it on the last one. Five eighths of an inch. Seems good to me. And I'm just going to draw them onto the wrong side of the, the paper. So, let's get rid of some of this clutter. So five eighths, which is there, I believe. So I'm going to draw border all the way around at five eighths. And that hopefully will look right. so tricky to pick things up from. Uh, five eighths down there. Right, now we need to find the centre of this. So what does it measure? It measures, well, pretty much nine, actually. So I reckon the centre of that is four and a half, which is there. So let's, let's just draw a line there at four and a half. Make sure it's square. It's a good thing about quilting rulers, you can get it square on two sides. So that's the half. And then I'm going to, um, because I've allowed five, five eighths of an inch round there, I'm going to make this approximately that. But I can't, I can't really split the five in two and measure it accurately. So I'm going to put three eighths on one side and three eighths on the other. It's really difficult because the light's shining down on it and I can't see. Uh, there we go. Three eighths there and three eighths on this side as well. Where's the line? Does anybody know where the line is? There's the line. And there. Right. So now I'm going to take my scalpel. If I can find it have a rummage. I think I need a better system. I think all these things in here is not really helpful. Here's my scalpel. So I'm just going to cut around those lines that I've just made. Um, yeah, so on the inside there, and this one, so we're just making the windows. Don't forget not to cut through that middle section, otherwise it'll fall out. Mm. 
and that's just the two on either end and hopefully I've cut it deeply enough for these to just drop out that would be nice oh look at that perfect perfect There we are. So that should fall out as well, I hope. Yeah, well, nearly, nearly, nearly. It's a tiny little bit. So keep those. They could be handy. That They've got good text on them. So this is the side that we opted for, the side with the text on it. All I need to do now is stick some acetate to the back of that. So this is A4 acetate. So it measures eight and a quarter, which is just perfect for that. So I'm just going to make a mark where I want to cut that, which is there. Maybe I can see it, maybe I can't. We'll try. No, is the answer to that. I think that's all right there. Oops. Let's just check that we're all right. All right, all right, all right. Mm. It's, ju it's just not quite square. I don't know how to manage that, but it's not quite square. So let's just square that off. A little bit. I think maybe my trimmer objected to cutting acetate. Some trimmers do. Let's try it again and see. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Happy with that. Okay, so now we need to glue this to the reverse. So I'm just going to go round the windows. Mr F's looking lost. You all right? Oh yeah. Just bagging some stuff up. Yeah, we've sent out quite a lot of packages today. Um, and there's one more to go. So Mr. F's just bagging that up. It's the Timmy Fabric Timmy Journal, actually. There we are. Then I want another layer of glue just outside that, just to catch the edges of the acetate. Lovely, that should be fine. But the proof of the pudding, as they say. Right, let's stick that on there. You pudding. Pudding. I've got bits of glue where I don't need them, so I'm just going to take my... Ah, yikes, and that's, that's coming in onto the acetate, which I didn't want. Never mind. We'll worry about that in a minute. So push your glue out away from your acetate. So it doesn't splurge out like mine's done on there. The same on the other window. Like that. I think this acetate still isn't square, but it doesn't matter. We can square it in a second. And I just want to catch this bit down here. Where that naughty glue has squeezed out. Right, yeah, this is not square. Still, it's not square. I'll use these little ones. The thing about acetate is, obviously, it's see-through and it's a right pain. There we go. So let's just work out which, right, so this is the side the tags are going to go in. 
so I want to make sure that that is glued down really quite well because otherwise you'll catch the acetate you could put some tape down there in fact actually that is what I'm going to do um, it's just to save the tags getting caught on the acetate when you push it in because it can be a pain so I've got this um, it doesn't stick it doesn't even stick to itself it's absolutely rubbish <laughs> as, a, as a sort of tape to stick anything down but it will do this job nicely because I'm going to put some glue down first just along the edge there and then just a little bit over the acetate there so any tags that we put in will slide in nice and easy so right along the edge it's just slightly narrower than the five eighths of an inch we allowed for the window which is good because you don't want to see this coming through from the back do you right there we go good job good job Bob okay so let's press that down then we've got ink on my cutting board which is uh, ink glue hello Right, so that's pressed down. Let's just trim those ends off. Make it neat and tidy. Lovely. That's that. So when something is uh, slipped into that pocket, it's not going to catch on the acetate, the edge of the acetate. It's going to slide in beautifully. Let's give that acetate a part rougher. A buff up is what I meant to say, not a rough anything. <laughs> Got a bit of glue there, don't be awkward. There we are. Of course, now I'm remembering that I haven't actually inked around those windows. So when you do yours, remember to ink around them. <laughs> not like me. around here then we'll get this glued on and that I think pretty much is the end of the construction the next one will be the placing of the papers etc there we go I probably if I wanted to could get a cotton bud and get some ink in there um, I just thought I saw a smeary mark maybe not Okay, so here's this. This goes on to there. We'll glue it down there, down there, down there, and there. And then we've got the two pockets to slide things into. So, along the edge. And the back. And the bottom and then don't forget the center so the tags don't fall all the way down okay let's just carefully place that and there we have it fabulous so I'm not going to put anything in at this moment because obviously the glue is wet and if I do it'll just force it apart again. But I'm just going to go around with my towel and press all that down. And there we go. So I think we have constructed part three or part one. They're both the same. So that's the Let's just do them in conjunction with each other, just to make sure. Right, so this is the flap, like that. That's the flap, like that. This is this page. That flaps open like that, like that, yes. Then we've got this, that folds over like that. Then this flaps out, this flaps out. 
this has got an envelope in the middle yep and then we've got this with the these on so yes i think we are doing okay now then the next part of this is to um decorate it now i'm pretty sure that you're all very capable of decorating this yourselves but just in case you would rather watch me do it and then go off and do your own the next video which hopefully will be very soon like tomorrow <laughs> We'll be decorating this. So then we will have all three parts of the trifold Edith. So I'm sorry if that wasn't very exciting, but that's just the way you build pages, I'm afraid. It's not necessarily edge of your seat stuff, <laughs> although sometimes it feels like it. So I will, uh, I thought that hadn't stuck, but it doesn't stick, it's like that. So I'll see you again very, very soon and we'll decorate this up. I'm going further on into the year. I started off with January and this, I need to have a look at the centre section, see where I left off with that. So we'll um, go further on in the year with this section. So thanks for joining me. I really hope you could understand that. Um, and I hope that you crack on, get yours made. And then when we've got all three sections, Mr F will show us how to make the hard cover for it. So thanks once again. See you all soon. Take care all. Bye.